This is a demonstration of the Virtual G15 menu system I designed using IS Boxer virtualization for click bars and mapped keys. First of all, I would like to apologize for the sound and frame rate quality of this video. I had to record in full screen to get a decent resolution in order to see how the menus work. However, the recording process is really eating up my system resources. With that said, in the lower left hand corner, you can see the dummy click bar I use to represent labels on the G15 keys. I say dummy click bar in the sense I cannot click on it. This is personal preference as I am not a mouse user. However, one could easily use this virtualized menu as a full-fledged click bar or even with dual functionality of hotkeys and as a click bar. As I toggle the UI on and off, one can see how I set the click bar coordinates so it will nest in with my game windows. I'll leave the UI off for this demonstration. Two other points of interest before I start the demonstration. For the purposes of this video, I have assigned pop-up text to all of the G keys as well as the tab and assist key to demonstrate the ease of loading a new set of mapped keys and click bar labels. Last, I will be using EverQuest terminology throughout the video. I will attempt to give a brief overview of the purpose of each particular bank of keys being viewed. This is a fresh character set which shows my default menu. It has a single button for the group rules which allows me to assign my main tank and puller. As I press the G18 key, one can see the pop-up text generated from the IS Boxer profile. When I get to the very last step of this mapped key, using the do mapped keys and set mapped key step options in IS Boxer, the menu is going to automatically kick me out to the next menu which I refer to as a system menu. This menu has the logout camp button, a few text strings to execute in-game options, and most important in this case is my camera and repeater controls for all characters. The workflow is such that after loading my characters, the very next step I did every single time was reset the camera and point of view. Therefore, I designed the menu navigation to load my camera options automatically. From that point, I can tab out to the first page of my normal menu, which I refer to as the utility menu. This menu contains basic heals and cures to be used out of combat, very few short duration buffs, and most importantly on this page, in the bottom bank of keys are various speed boosts, levitation, and invisibility, which I can use during travel. From page one, I am able to tab, tab to page two, which manages all my buffs and spells. The very last row of keys has two key maps which are shared across all the buffs and sp spells submenus. G16 loads a submenu which takes me to a list of various expansion raids. Each expansion's raid submenu leads to another submenu which allows shared mapped keys to load a particular set of weapon sets and spell sets for any given encounter in that expansion. G18 loads a different submenu which contains individual mapped keys for each of my characters. From this menu I can load individual characters, spell sets independently of the other characters to compensate for any given mob resist immunity. From there I can tab back to page 2 and from page 2 I'm able to tab to page 3 which contains transportation mapped keys shared among all the characters. This page is rather EQ centric however I use it to manage druid ports and various other text strings, AAs and clickies for my entire group. Tabbing from page 3 loads page 4, which again is the menu I refer to as the system menu. From page 4, the mapped key steps roll over back to step 1 and reload the utility menu on page 1. As you can see, I'm able to access all of these commands simply through the use of the tab key and any given G key. I'm able to tab through the menus very quickly, which allows for me to change combat stances, swap polars, and main tanks, load different spell sets, etc., even during the heat of battle. My current IS Boxer profile contains some 600 plus mapped keys across the various characters, and I never have to try and remember or figure out which key combination I need at any given time. Regarding combat hotkeys, I have assigned the assist for all my characters to the bar hotkey. Regardless of which menu I am on, I am able to jump into combat immediately with all the characters with a single key press. Upon assisting, the G keys are virtualized as combat hotkeys. Once the mob is dead, 
I simply tab out of combat and back to my utility menu. Using the mapped key set step option, I have the assist hotkey reset the mapped key used to load the menus back to step 1. Due to this, even if I am attempting to port, buff, or do something else and I get jumped by a mob in the middle of that process, entering combat resets all the menus and mapped keys so I do not have to try and remember what I was doing or where I was in the process of doing it. My personal prefer preference was, if all else fails, I want to automatically be kicked out to the default utility menu. The last feature of the system to demonstrate is the ability to load a parallel set of menus independent of the default menus. In order to accomplish this, not only is each G key virtualized, however the tab key to load the menus and the bar keys to assist are also virtualized. This can be used to load a parallel menu with different hotkeys, key maps, and even the number and or menu page order. This example will again be EQ centric. However, the theory still applies to be used for any particular raid encounter, character set, or what have you. As one can see on the events menu, the G3 key allows me to load a different set of menus for monster missions. In this case, when I want to do a monster mission in EverQuest, I am able to load that set of mapped keys. Given the monster missions have very reduced character capabilities and allow for the use of different character classes, I needed a way to set up buffs in combat without affecting my default menu. As mo one may remember, my default menu was four pages deep, utility, spells, transport, and system. Due to reduced character capabilities, the monster mission menu is only two pages deep. An independent and separate utility menu, a combined buffs and system menu, which is also independent and separate from the default buffs and system menu, and lastly, an entirely different combat menu. Finally, I'm able to jump back and forth between menus at will. Using virtualization, I do not have to be concerned with remembering what key maps are on or off, which click bars are on or off, or whether the key maps match and are in sync with the click bars and mapped keys. In this particular case, I use the G keys as menu hotkeys. However, this same principle can be used to build a virtual menu out of the number keypad, the regular number row, or even a gaming pad or multi-key gaming mouse. For all practical purposes, your entire profile can be run off the key bank and two other keys, one to load the menu and one to load combat. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial is helpful.